Hello everyone, today is the long-awaited day where I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on the Backrooms found footage that was uploaded by Kane Pixels over the course of a few months. There's like six different videos that I'm going to talk about and analyze. I'm not going to react to it though because I'm not a reactor. I just want to talk about it a little bit, give my opinions, give my analyzation if you will. But I've literally had like over a thousand comments on here asking me to go over this footage or give my opinions. So I decided to wait until the hype died down a little bit to get my opinions on it since uh, like I said I'm not a reactor but yeah with that said I definitely do want to hear everyone's opinions on these backers videos so let me know down below in the comment section what you think if you like them or not and yeah let's get right into it so for the start of the video I'm gonna give a little bit of a history on the first episode of this found footage that Kane uploaded if you've already seen it all if you already know when it's uploaded skip to the next timestamp on January 7th, 2022, Kane Pixels uploaded a Backrooms found footage video that everyone has either watched themselves or has heard about somehow. It's gotten around 18.3 million views at the time of me recording this, and hundreds of big YouTubers have posted reactions or thoughts about it. Film Theory, Some Ordinary Gamers, 8-Bit Ryan, and Daz Games were some of the biggest. This was the first Backrooms video to ever blow up as much as it did, and it brought thousands and thousands of new people to the community. For example, just after that video was uploaded, my own YouTube channel, this very same one, went from around 57k subs to 100k subs over those next 6 weeks. And the phrase, the Backrooms, was an insanely highly searched phrase all over the internet. So the question is, well, what makes this specific upload so important? There's many answers to that question, but I mostly believe it's because it opened up an entire new sector of content that the Backrooms hadn't quite seen yet in this magnitude. Sure, there had been other CGI Backrooms videos, but none of them quite stacked up to this level of quality. Now I'm going to quickly summarize and analyze the rest of the Backrooms videos that he's uploaded so far and give my opinions and analysis right after. So of course, being a Backrooms YouTuber, I watched the first found footage video as soon as I could, and uh, I really liked it actually. I thought it was cool. I love how Kane was able to turn something as simple as the concept of the Backrooms into a real horror experience that could literally be turned into a movie if a production company got their hands on it. I thought the voice acting and the sound design was actually superb, and I just really enjoyed it. It was refreshing. The only thing I found goofy about the first video was the creature on level zero, but I'll talk more about that later. Overall, it was dope, and I've watched it probably six times. Then, after this video, a week later, on the 14th, Kane uploaded another video called Backrooms The Third Test. This is the video where we really get an insight on the Kane Backrooms canon, or the Kanan, if you will. Because it introduces the Backrooms as a government-created and accessed place. The voice acting and everything in this video was great as well, and it, I actually really like this one. It was pretty cool, not gonna lie. Three days after that video, the Backroom's first contact video was uploaded, where we're introduced to a company called Async, which in the Canaan, the Kane Canon, is the government agency that has opened up the Backrooms. I'll talk more about my opinions on that later. 11 days later, the Backrooms Missing Persons was uploaded. This video shows that a huge influx of people have gone missing over the years due to the Backrooms being opened, and it's also the first official exploration we get to see from an async team. Video is obviously well made, sound design was great, and we get to see a body. Overall, that's dope. And I actually think this one is my favorite one out of all the ones he's made so far. It's super fun to watch. The next video after that one was uploaded on February the 12th and is titled The Backrooms Informational Video. This is where the Kane Backrooms canon is starting to get fleshed out more and is pretty much going over Async's protocol for exploring and researching the newly created area of the Backrooms. It talks about the many names that the Backrooms is referred to as and we get to see another exploration team sent by Async to explore level zero. And we even get to see what looks like a couple other levels or two. This video is dope. I thought it was pretty cool. I really enjoyed the talking between the explorers in this one. But this video leads us to the latest upload which was made on February the 23rd and is called Backrooms Autopsy Report. 
and the entire video is pretty much talking about that John Doe body that we saw a few videos back. And the cause of the John Doe's demise is trying to be explained by a doctor using scientific stuff that I'm not smart enough to understand, but the doctor actually doesn't know how the subject ended up like he did, so he asked a Mr. Beck where they actually found this body. Then the video cuts to an old TV broadcast showing the opening of the back rooms, and then the video ends. Again, this video fleshes out more of the canon and how the back rooms are now connected to the real life sector, not just async. You got a doctor in here working on it, a doctor that doesn't know what the backrooms is, so it's a doctor that's not wise to this exploration. But overall, all these backroom CGI's, I love them. I mean, I think they actually look really cool, and I'm really glad they got uploaded because, as I said at the beginning, it just adds a whole new dimension to the possibilities for the backrooms. That being said, I do have some stuff to say about it. On one hand, I think it's really cool to see the backrooms being shown on the big screen, if you will, and for it to get all this attention and all this reaction and this hype kind of built up around it, and even a creative twist being put on the creation and the fleshing out of the lore, too. On the other hand, a part of me does have to ask, what was the reasoning for Kane to make the new Backrooms canon that he made, the Kanan? Obviously, I have nothing against the Kanan, but it is kind of curious to me that he chose to make his own canon, even though there are three different main wikis that he could have chosen from. YouTubers like Infographics use their Backrooms video sources as the Wikidot, I typically use the Wikidot and the Fandom, and Ferrante typically use the Liminal Archives. Some would say he didn't use the Wikidot fandom or LA because they're too convoluted, so he created this async as kind of a back to the basics approach, which that opinion does have some merit. Some people think that the backrooms has gotten too cringy or too convoluted with all the levels, and they kind of want to see it return back to the limb space, horror, no creatures type deal. But at the end of the day, there's been thousands of hours put in on each of the backrooms wikis in writing levels or canons creating bases and organizations, and creating a lore that I think has staying power. Obviously, like I said, I'm not saying this to discredit Kane's videos, because like I said, I actually really like them, for, like not even joking, and I think they're great. And I always love people putting their own twists and spins on things, because every Backrooms thing is fan-made, and everything is open to interpretation, and there's no one official lore. But the only problem that I have is that if someone sees Kane's video and then is like, well, this sounds cool, I'm gonna go look this up and check it out, and they're not gonna find anything that Kane mentioned in any of his videos on any wikis. Async doesn't exist outside of his videos. The levels that he shows that are accessible from level zero don't exist anywhere outside of his video. And I'm thinking this could confuse some people more than they already are, but at this point, it's obvious that he's making his own canon, and I fully support him in doing that. I just don't want people to get confused more than they already are about backrooms, canons, and timelines. I guess for a little bit I do just want to take up for all the writers and the creators of the wikis. In a way because they've created something way bigger than just that level zero picture over the past couple years. Even if all of it isn't novel quality each time on each wiki, it's already there. It's already posted. It's lore made for people to read into and to pick their favorites. Some like the wiki dots, some like the fandom, and some like the liminal archives and some are gonna like Kane Pixel's canon, and that's okay. I just don't want the writers of any of the wikis to feel like their work has gone diminished, or it doesn't mean anything, or it's been undermined, just because it's Kane's video that's blown up, and not their level, or not their creation. At the end of the day, the backrooms wouldn't be what it is right now if the writers from the Wikidot, Fandom, and the Liminal Archives didn't create the levels and lores that they have. There wouldn't be anything whatsoever, and I certainly wouldn't be here. So to summarize a little bit, I really enjoy Kane's Backrooms videos. I think they're a really fresh and unique taste on the Backrooms concept, but what I don't like is the people that want his canon to be the main one or the official one. Because, let's be real, like I said many times in this video, there isn't an official canon, and there never needs to be. It's all up to interpretation, to an extent. This is a revolutionary creepypasta that we all are in right now. It's an alternate dimension concept that YouTube has literally never seen before, and it's still in its infancy when it comes to lore and the content, and there's still so much more to be made. And everyone can win, and one person shouldn't be outshined or held above somebody in any regard just because it was their canon or their video that got popular. Also, film theory. You don't drink carpet fluid. Stop saying that. You sound stupid. Also, you want to collab? So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little rant, tangent thing. Like I said, I know it wasn't a reaction. Instead, it was kind of a summary or analyzation, if you will. I just wanted to tell you that I don't want the writers to feel like their work has been diminished because of Kane's video blowing up. And I don't want them to feel like they've been writing for no reason because it's not their canon getting covered. 
But yeah, that's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I love everything backrooms related. Doesn't matter what candidate it is. Doesn't matter where it's coming from. It's awesome to me. Thank you for watching and supporting me. Check out my second channel down below for more of me. Who wouldn't want that? Make sure you leave a comment telling me your thoughts on the video and your thoughts on the Canaan. Thank you for watching and supporting, and I will see you later.